Roy Hibbert is seven foot two, two hundred and eighty pounds. Have you ever thought about what would happen if a seven foot two dude like Roy Hibbert were to try and pee in, a, or he could go number two? That's totally fine too, uh, and let go of his waist in an airplane bathroom. Well, he showed us. All right, so there he is, uh, cramped, <laughs> condensed, small. Could be the best way to describe it. Roy Hibbert. Uh, Probably doesn't suit any of those words at all. Tiny. That's I mean, awesome. I, feel, I feel for him. Well, you know, Roy Hibbert is, um, he's, a, he's like, from what you could tell, I follow him on like Twitter and what, oh, you all those things, right? Play it to a pacer. Yeah, he's, he's funny, and you wouldn't think so. Like, he, the, this Why wouldn't you think so? Because he seems like a very, like, he, he's a, he's a, 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 at least when he's playing basketball. On the court, he doesn't seem to have many emotions. He's like a Tim Duncan when it comes to stuff like that. So you wouldn't think that he'd have the kind of personality where he'd try and be funny, especially on social media when people get fired at all the time with negative, negative sure. thoughts and comments all the time. So he's, he, he does a lot of that, this types of things, which I think is, you don't think about it, as you say. <laughs> like, he, when you see him maybe try and wiggle into an airport, airplane restroom. Yeah. When he goes to security, do you think he bends down? To get through that uh, the metal detector. I'm going to have to look at it next time I fly. Yeah. Because I never look, you never look at how high things are. Uh -uh. I think one of those art, the article that was talking about it said he, um, the dimensions of a general air, airplane restroom are 7'1", 7'2". Seven one, seven one, seven yeah. Yeah, seven but then one. what about the width? And then what about, I mean, if you're 7'1", then you say you sit on the toilet, I mean, his knees got to hit the... <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. What's the, what's the dimension? What oh are the rest of the dimensions? Oh my God, that would be so uncomfortable. It's, it's, like a, it's like a girl squatting in a public restroom. Yeah, so so like they're, they're squatting over, but then he's got to like go <laughs> up. You know, it's like yoga and shitting you know at the he same said time. It, how, many, how many times has he hit his head as an adult? Oh my God, probably so On many anything times. that he wouldn't realize doesn't suit him. And no, there's the question. Yeah. Um, I he mean, he's seven at movie two. theaters, obviously. Yeah. yeah totally. <laughs> you have to sit in the back. Yeah, you have totally. really good eyesight. Um, so if, I mean, to be that kind of height, I always... My ideal height, I wish I was 6'4". Six, 6'4 four. Six, four is an ideal height, I think. It's okay. perfect. Okay. Um, but like, to be in the NBA, or to be like the, have the body style, style to be in the NBA, yeah. would you give up all the comforts of walking around normal, getting into a car, maybe fitting into a Honda? You have to drive big trucks to all the time. To play basketball? No, to then to then be, because like, I think it probably becomes like annoying. You can't oh, do anything. It becomes the, annoying. But, the, but the you know what? not made for you. All right, you know what isn't annoying? Ten million dollar paycheck. <laughs> Not then, annoyed by that at all. And then you're Not slow. At all. You, I can pay off my annoyances. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm cool with that. And actually, I've thought about this. What about people who are seven feet tall but have absolutely no athletic ability, and they just suck? Oh, I was God. like, that must suck. You didn't even get paid ten million dollars a year, and you're just tall and have no money.